Good morning, and as always, it's exciting, informative, insightful, and educative. And today, it's quite an interesting topic. Remember, we are live, and that is at Lookup TV on Twitter. Let us know the feedback. Stream it there, your concerns, your questions, your testimonies when it comes to business, if you're a woman, if you're a man, if you're an advocate, you know. Let us know your experiences around the law and business. But today, however, I'm going to trickle down to women, law and business and because of that i want you guys to tell me are you a small scale um you know um a small market entrepreneur what are you doing with yourself and after covid or through covid a lot of enterprises were hard well you know were, were, were shattered a little bit here and there then now there's recovery but we still want to know what strides you have made do you know that the law could be favoring you at some point do you even know what the law says about business that's the challenge this morning. Which law do you know that can defend you this hour, this minute, when it comes to your business? Let me know on the comment section, and we'll be glad to hear from you. Well, now on set um, is a great panel, all right? The ladies are looking amazing, of the gentlemen as well, and, and they have business minds. When you see business-oriented people hear about business, they actually glow, yeah? Are you glowing back at home as well? Allow me to, of course, welcome you guys on set. Thank you for creating time to be here so early. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. And it's pretty cold, right? But I hope that, um, hmm, what you're <laughs> sipping. <laughs> So on my far left, um, is, I just say Tanya Ireri, who's the founder of Azuri Designs Empire. Good morning. I, I see you have something. Is that your own brand? Yeah, yeah this is my own brand. I do apparel as well. Mm -hmm. I'm an, yeah, I wear a lot of hats. For the people who know me, they know me as a farmer, they know me as a designer, as an entrepreneur. Yes. So business is your home. Business is my home, and even for this season, actually, I do Christmas decorations, I do Christmas hampers. In fact, getting me was... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, we, we are honored. We really are honored. And we know that the content you shall bring of what will also be an honor to the viewers. So thank you for creating time. Uh, right after her in the middle is Mr. Paul Thuo, who is an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Yes. Karibu sana. Thank you for having me. How does it feel to be here? In... It's amazing. It's my first time to be here. But oh. Really, really exciting. Uh, excited and I'm hoping that uh, we're going to have an exciting interview. Yes. That the information you're going to give is going to help one person, two people, a thousand people, that is what we need to do. Absolutely, because it's solution-driven. And I know most Kenyans are asking, why do we have an advocate to talk about business? Yeah. <laughs> they are really not used to that. They will find yeah. out soon. They will find out. Thank you for that introductory remark. And right next to me, the elegant uh, Miss Lillian. I don't know if Miss is correct, but I'll just say Lillian Samba, <laughs> who is Creative Director, Pat Lawrence Enterprises Limited. Karibu sana. Thank you for having me. We're curious, Pat Lawrence. Yeah, I know. Most people <laughs> ask me, what does Pat Lawrence say? Yes. Uh, Pat Lawrence is, uh, I'm called Patience, so that's mm -hmm. the first initial, the part. And then Lawrence is, I picked a name from my sister. She's Florence. And that's how we came with the name. Mm. Yeah. So it's a partnership? Yes. Ah, yes. so now we have a solo and a partnership. Yes. A and, solo. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's basically women. And you're asking, why didn't you have a female advocate? No, it's because the law is gender mainstreamed, is it not? Yes. And, and we just want to take a look at how then it favors women, if it does favor women, because I'm also learning here on set, if it does favor women, the ladies here will also let us know how eventually um, they have been able to succeed in business, which uh, entirely through the periods where we were fighting for gender equity and equality, which we still are, there were a bit of hitches here and there for women to actually thrive in male-dominated kind of entrepri uh, enterprises or you know businesses. So this morning, I just want to go straight to um, just talk to you guys generally before I talk to him, how you started your line of business. <laughs> we're curious. We've at least heard about your name and yes. the name, yeah. but we we'll start with her. It's just a Mine's very a short movie. brief. <laughs> oh, wow, please. Let's go closer to the credits. Okay, so I'll, I'll give a brief summary of yes. Azuri and the journey. Yes. So mine started with five shillings. I know it's so hard to believe. <laughs> Shilling it on, Yes. Okay. So I believe in passion a lot. I don't believe like you need a million to start a business. So back in the day when I was in campus, I went to Silhani, I mm. got a paper, split it into two, I designed a card out of it, a DIY. I sold it for 500. And then I was like, Allah, 
Kadia A5 ni more than 500. <laughs> so an A3 would go for a thousand bob, and then I went on along. Then in campus, my lecturer would never start a session without Tanya. She had to make sure, like, Tanya, what do you have for us? So a woman also mm -hmm. was it for me. So I grew up like that, and then I went, I was given a challenge to do gift tampers. Oh, nice. So for gift tampers, I've done it for like 13 years. And then being seasonal in Kenya, I need something to survive through it. So I did, uh, I started my line of interior design. I do also Samba does interior, but I do also ceiling. I do ceiling, floor, and wall cladding. I've done it for six years. Oh. And then now I had a, a shift in my life in 2018 where I had to start life all over again. So I shifted from Nairobi, I went to Embu. I bought a, I bought a land as a gift to me mm -hmm. <laughs> after my hassles of designing. So I do farming as well. So yes, that's the, cha that's the journey. And if any from here as Tanya, there's like a team mm -hmm, of women mm -hmm. that you can't see. A team of women, that's yes, really good to hear. Because women at times, given on who you know, women can be your supporters and they can be your sabotages. Oh yeah, hold it there. Yes. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> we're, ca <coughs> we're coming. And of course we appreciate your team. We want to hear your journey. Because right. you're the woman in business. We will come to him right. shortly, yes. Okay. Mine is very, uh, a very interesting journey because uh, I am an accountant by profession. So that's what I did in campus. Mm -hmm. And even my first employment was in accounting. But as Tanya has put it, I really believe in passion and uh, just nurturing what uh, is best with you. I remember back then while I was still in school, I would, uh, Sunday Nation was a big time paper back <laughs> then, know. you know, <coughs> like 20, 20 years, uh, around 25 years ago. Oh. Yes, Sunday mm. Nation was real big because they had this segment of interior. uh, interiors. <laughs> so up to date, I still have those newspaper cutouts. Yes, I had a file. And then I was in mm. high school, you know. So uh, after I joined employment, I did employment for almost seven years. And in my, with my last employer, I would take my leaves to go for classes. That's when Pat Lawrence's journey began, back in 2014. I would take classes with classic molding, just to do painting. Mm -hmm. Those would really fascinate me. Uh, fast forward, <coughs> I registered the company yes. in 2014. And I started taking short courses, mm. yes, and doing, we call them side hustles, Saturday, uh, Saturday jobs, gigs, uh, maybe painting, simple gigs, right? And uh, fast forward to 2017, I went full time with uh, Pat Lawrence business. Beautiful. It's purely an interior design company and contractors. Okay. Behind the scenes, I have, uh, Ladies as well, my immediate partner is a lady. We have a construction manager who is also a partner. She's also a lady in mm. construction. I know construction <coughs> has been male dominated, but yes, ladies are thriving. All right. Yes. And it's really good to hear that today on live television that ladies are thriving. And now we're looking at um, the law. And now we've heard, well, they started five shillings and, you know, having been an accountant, but now still finding her way through business. Um, we're looking at <clears throat> what the law yes. says about business. And for a long time, we've had the boy child come out to say, well, now, like you said, women are thriving and men dominated, yeah. <laughs> you know, businesses. Yeah. You would start by telling us what the law says about businesses and if there are certain, you know, laws that favor women in business, which maybe women do not know about, but could tap into to actually start and thrive in what they, they say um, they're doing as, as women in business. Okay. Thank you so much. I think uh, I will address that question in terms of the kind of businesses that are recognized in Kenya, yes. so that we can get into the nitty gritty details in terms of what the law says about each of them. Mm -hmm. And specifically, uh, to start off with, uh, their, I will look into three at least three kinds of businesses. There are sole proprietorships, there are partnerships, and then there are limited liability companies. Now, these uh, three represent a larger 
uh, a larger group of you know businesses that are registrable in Kenya, but those are the more <coughs> common ones that are usually um, looked into or ventured into uh, most of the time mm. by the different people that I have interacted with uh, in my line of work. So the first one, I will look at sole proprietorship, which is basically just uh, as what uh, Tanya had said. <laughs> 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 yeah, that you know, this is this, there's only one person who is running it. And uh, you can have the same registered for as little as, uh, and this, uh, I think some advocates might kill me, but I will just say it. All right. <laughs> as, as little as 850 shillings. Uh, you can log into the BRS, which is the Business Registration Service website, and you can follow the small processes that are there. However, advocates will come in to help you, number one, to know the kind of you know, business that you'll be registering for, and that is where the fee might be higher. Okay. In terms of the legal fees in terms of registration, registration of the um, sole proprietorship. So a sole proprietorship is basically a, an individual who wants to trade by their own name, and then they will register it, and of course, after nowadays, the system, we thank the, the government for making the system a bit uh, easy mm. for us to uh, venture into and to register businesses, because within uh, a week or so, you can have your sole proprietorship registered and have your certificate and start operating the business. Second one is basically the partnerships. All right. Partnerships are regulated by the Partnerships Act uh, in Kenya. Yeah, basically when uh, two people, uh, two individuals, sometimes uh, companies, and companies uh, uh, might come together to form a partnership for a specific reason or for a specific time or for a specific um, contract that they want to get into because one partner might bring in a specific um, uh, you know, uh, might be specialized in an area mm -hmm. of which the other partner is not. So you can come up together, form a partnership, which is also registrable around uh, the fee for registration is about 25,000, right. slightly higher. But then that is exclusive of legal fees. And of course, the, <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, the, the other charges that an advocate might, you know, impose on you for the services. Then the third one, and which is um, um, most preferable uh, in terms of this age in the, that we are, we are living in, mm -hmm. is the formation of limited liability companies. Now, the limited liability companies um, are in corporations by themselves. Basically, you come up, yes. come up with a name, a few names, you can uh, give out uh, three, or, three or four names, whichever names that you would wish for uh, you to give. Then um, you log in, same, same procedure log into the business registration website, uh, .go.ke, it's a government website. Yes. Then follow the uh, procedures in terms of having to register the same. However, I will uh, I'll be very categorical in stating that for registration especially of these three, please look for an advocate because an All advocate right. will give you the direction within which you need to go. Okay. And to avoid instances where I believe we shall have discussions on tax and what route and the implications. So, the uh, for for companies, companies are the most preferred, not the best. Yeah, I also be very clear on that. Not the best, but the most preferred because of the advantages that come with it. Mm. For example, um, in terms of uh, uh, you know applying for tenders, uh -huh. something that I believe you shall look into. Uh, it is easier because companies have structure. You know they are structured. For sole proprietorship, <coughs> you can wake up one day. Yes. Decide, you know what, e kiosk ni typhoon. Mm. And leave. <laughs> Maybe you were awarded, you know, there's a tender that you were awarded that is uh, a multi million tender, for example, and then you close shop. Yeah, Nobody. <laughs> Because, because I, I, we, I, I want us to continue, but Tanya looks like she wants to touch on this. <coughs> because Tanya, uh, we had a question on how does a woman apply for business, you know, apply for tenders. Mm -hmm. As we're talking about it, I'll also come, I'll, I'll come to you on the registration which is touched on. I want to know if yeah. you had assistance with an advocate yes. and if you're safe because of that. We're coming back to you oh, just yeah. shortly. Um, and the advantages of, you know, the the you know the access to government procurement opportunities yeah. we want to hear your experience with that because you felt like you know you, you look heated <laughs> on that <laughs> no but it's true what you're saying yes at times yes as a sole proprietor i can say i'm facing like uh, at all <laughs> big time financially 
but uh, it's true what you say. Mm. At times, as a sole proprietor, you're given like a big um, LPO to supply on, and you're less on finances. Because actually, like in November, I was given like, quite a number of LPOs to supply on, and getting finances on them was quite a hassle. Okay. To a point, manze, I looked for cash all over. I was this close. Him saying closing yeah, kiosk, the kiosk. To, I was nearing there because <laughs> I was just about to decline that LPO because I was unable to <coughs> provide. Mm. But he's, he's right what he's saying. So proprietors, yes, we are somewhere and we can we can deliver because what I'm appreciating actually with like National Bank, yes. they now have an SME funding where you're also able to be funded uh, small time whatever they have like those, I think up to 3m but I can't mention more on that because mm -hmm. I I'm yet to finalize on my research on it better yes but uh, challenges they are there and then as far as government goes yes I'm happy to say that I'm AGPO certified okay and to for me to get that AGPO certified I did I had to make sure like to follow the law oh. and one law of Kenya is <coughs> ushuru to jitageme. <laughs> So I had to make sure um, I'm covered when it comes to taxes. I pay, I pay my taxes. Yes. Both um, every every twentieth, because for the VAT yes. every twentieth, and then as a sole proprietor, because I use my personal pin to operate every June. I'm also all right. I'm also taxed, but yes, Agpo does work, and if you're a woman. You need to get a It really works. Nice. Yes. So really a lot of Kenyans usually say, "All oh, these initiatives you come up with, they're not real. They Did just you, you were there." <laughs> so this morning we're actually saying these things work. You just need to make a move. Yes, yes. I know. All right. Miliko wom Kenya trust you me, but once I did my TCC and I got my agpo. And I started being called, you know, for tenders. And then, like women, we, Women Enterprise Fund, they did an yes, advert. Yes. I applied for it. AFC, they did an advert. I did, I, I supplied them also using my Agpo. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. I think this is amazing stories. Like we say, mm -hmm. testimonies will come here, success stories will come through here. You, we're talking about registrations with the help of an advocate. He says you can do it on your own yeah. at a lower fee. But you will need an advocate because of the legal, you know, aspects that come with it. What was your journey? Um, are you safer? Absolutely, I am safe. Because uh, let me just take you back. When back in 2014, when I registered, I registered the business. I just registered a name, okay, not a business. Because back then, you remember, I was still employed. Mm -hmm. But when I went full time, 2017, I now transferred from business name to a limited company. And for sure, I needed a lawyer, an advocate. All right. I, George. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we, we are compliant. The lawyer did literally everything for okay. us. Okay. So the lawyer took us through what we need to do as a limited company. We'll need to register for well, with KRA. Okay. Yes, so it was pretty easy. Yes, you pay a fee for that, but it was seamless. All right very seamless. You're given all your documentation. CR12, believe me you, you'll need CR12 when you're applying for some of these tenders. Okay. They need to see who are in that company. So an advocate is important. And yes. I, I like that when you're speaking, we have voices that actually are backing up that this does, did work for me. It didn't. Yes. If it did not work for you also, let us know in the comment section. Maybe it did not work for you. Maybe you fell in the wrong hands. All right. Let yeah. us also know so we can know how to help you. Hashtag the morning drift. You were talking to us about the businesses yes. um, and how the law comes in and we, we stopped there. Yes. So you just want to pick again and just specify if there are certain laws that yes. women should actually know yes. quote unquote favors them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, two of them have already been mentioned, which mm -hmm. is basically AGPO. AGPO is really, and I mean really, really important, and that is where uh, it is important, I would say it is important for women and, you know, every viewer in general to actually understand and know what the government offers. Uh, I'm not a government employee, but yes. <laughs> I'm a private practitioner, but I, I definitely have to mention the fact that uh, the government has tried in one way or the other, to ensure that the interests of women, you know, are met through, for example, APA, which is uh, access to government procurement opportunities. When you apply for the same as a woman, mm. yeah, 
higher chances. That it's, it's specifically been made for the youth okay. and women. All right. Yeah. So even and people like yes, and people uh, uh, with disabilities. Mm. So it when you apply for the same, it means this uh, group of people is actually given first priority. All right. In terms of these standards, in terms of you know the the work that is supposed to be done, and some of them are actually well paying. Yeah, I would, I'm, I'm very comfortable saying so because I have witnessed the same, uh, you know, in the clients that I've operated with over the years. Uh -huh. And they give you opportunities to access spaces and jobs that would otherwise have been, you know, off, off limits to begin with. So that is, it's, it's very crucial for, for women to understand how that law specifically works. Then we go back to, of course, the three uh, business models that we talked about. Each has its own separate, uh, you know, law that governs it. There's a Companies Act of 2015. There's a Business uh, Registration Act of uh, 2015 as well. Then there is a Partnership Act of 2018. <coughs> All these acts, of course, that is the reason why I, I would highly advise yes. before you actually, you know, step into that business world, get services from an advocate. And most right. to this you know, uh, talk about it in terms of my profession, but it's because it will help you, because you need to understand the licenses, for example, that will come in, the um, uh, taxes that you need to pay, mm -hmm. the consequences that will come with either operating a partnership, operating um, a business uh, that is just a sole proprietorship or a company. Yes. And that is what I was going to ask next. Yes. What research does a woman have to do before she actually ventures into business? Yes. And I think she's mentioned some of those. The question I would ask you all, um, the, the, the ladies in business, is how many licenses and how much fees you pay? You've mentioned um, the, the yearly one you know, quarterly, the one in June. I don't know what your experience is with, with that because I want to hear from the advocate. What are the legal licenses? which are the legal fees, because we see a lot of back and forth with business against the government authorities. So I want to know your experience, because we've had a bit of high experience when it comes to VAT, the licenses, the fees. Is it a difficult situation for you as a woman in business? Uh, I will say not really, because there are some that are industry regulated. So for my case in uh, construction, one thing uh, we have to do is business permits. That's annual. Okay. You take it annual. Uh, the KRA, that one we registered when we were registering, mm -hmm. but we need to file our returns every 20th for VAT, every 20th of the month. And that brings me to the need of having an accountant. It doesn't mean you employ an accountant okay. and have them in your payroll, but you can subcontract. True. You can subcontract because you need to file your VAT every 20th. On time. On, on time. time. We'll yes. hear the repercussions of not doing yes. it on time. <laughs> yes. Uh, whether you've been in business or not. Okay. You have All to right. file. Yes, absolutely. You have to file. Annually, you have to file for the, what is it, income tax. That's done annually every June. And again, as a founder, as a director, you have to file your personal returns as well. Because again, you need your tax compliance certificate as a director. All this you'll need now, based on the industry I am at, if I have a project, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the requirements is uh, NCA, National Construction Authority permits, yes, there are some tenders you apply and they need NCAs. NCA will need to see the director's uh, tax compliance, the company's tax compliance. So that's just one of uh, some of the permits, perm mm -hmm, permits mm -hmm. that we need, at least in our industry. It's encouraging to see Kenyans actually agree with we need those things because I want to be compliant. Uh, unlike the Kenyans we see on KOT, <laughs> who say hashtag <laughs> We want to hear from you, sir. Um, this, uh, the repercussions, number one, they have actually emphasized doing it is okay, but doing it on time is what is needed. The repercussions of not you know, doing it on time, even as you tell us the number of licenses are, are legal, because yeah. <laughs> you know that Kenyans are in the hands of certain people that might not be doing this legally. So just I know briefly, let us know these licenses that we expect to pay, even as someone is watching and they want to venture, and the fees that are expected. Yeah. She's given us a bit in her industry. I don't know if you have other general ones. Um, yes, but uh, the licenses are largely dependent on the area of business. All right. 
Yes. But some of them are quite uh, gentle. For example, if you operate a shop in Nairobi, for example, you would have to pay um, what many people would say kanjo fees. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's a layman kind of uh, way of thinking about it, but these licenses are charged by the county mm, government, mm. depending on what you are operating. For example, you have a bookshop, you need one. Mamambogas, some of them have, you, I think maybe we, we've seen um, the county government, I don't know whether I should call them constables because that's what they say they wanted to be addressed as, but they, let, let us call them kanjos, <laughs> moving around. <laughs> for now, if they allow us. Yeah. Moving around with receipts from, you know, Mamamboga is in the streets, you know, 50 shillings per day, yeah, but there are licenses that are charged based on Number one, mm -hmm. your area of operation and uh, your jurisdiction that is, you know, in different counties attract different licenses. For All example, right. if you have, uh, you want to open a restaurant, you have to get licenses in terms from the, uh, from the health, from Ministry of Health, from the county government. And then, of course, there is a, a KRA in terms of payment of taxes, which is something that I now uh, wish to address. Uh, ideally, and the rule of thumb is that any business that is... Uh, that has a turnover of around 5 million shillings, you are obligated to apply for a VAT. However, there are instances where, you know, you can individually All right. or voluntarily decide that, you know, you are operating a business that attracts VAT and you need to pay okay. for the same. For example, right. uh, supermarkets, you've seen the receipt, the physical receipt, there's VAT, which is around 16%. Uh, at this time, yes, there was a time that it was lowered by the government in terms of trying to cushion individuals. And with, Especially during COVID. During COVID, yeah. yes. Yeah. But now it's back to 16%. I wish we can go back to the 14%. <laughs> yeah. See, see the business owners and the Kenyans yeah. talking. If it can, we could. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they're watching. Yeah. But so far, we are still now, we're back to the 16 Yes, we're back to yeah. the 16 and the failure to remit the same in good time, rather by the 20th, as you know, Samba has rightfully put, mm. attracts a penalty of 10,000 shillings every month. Every month. Victim, it was not easy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like how she's saying, have an accountant to do that for you. Trust yes. me, it's very, very good. How did you go about it? Did you have um, a lawyer? Yeah, my accountant said it. Okay. So you do need an accountant? You do. Yeah. You do need. All right. Especially yes. if you operate a business that... Uh, requires you to pay VAT. So you can, you can apply for VAT in all the three that I have mentioned. That is the sole proprietor proprietorship, the partnership, and the company. Mm. Of course, there are uh, advantages of having a company incorporated because True. you can actually um, not evade, you can avoid tax because of the difference. Those are very two, yeah. there are two different you know, issues. Uh. You can avoid, avoid is actually legal. Evading. <laughs> <laughs> Evading is uh, and my eyes are on, on Azuri <laughs> very keenly. Yeah, I can change from soul mm. to company. <laughs> and and, and get a, a few directors to partner with. Mm -hmm. yes. The best thing about it is that you don't need anybody else. You can operate a company by yourself. From 2015. Oh, really? Uh, yes, from 2015. Oh, that I didn't know. The laws changed. <laughs> yeah. So the, the minimum number of directors in a company is one. All right. So you don't have to have a million and one people, you know, but it is important if you want to grow. Okay. So back to what we were saying in terms of... <laughs> you, you will see him handle up on your mark. Yes. Back to what we were saying. Yes. If you don't pay the, the tax in good time by the 20th, that penalty will accrue. And uh, this is to our viewers. Yes. Also need to, uh, you know, to know whether they have been registered uh, for VAT. Some of these people actually when, uh, most, especially when you register for your KRA pin uh, in a cyber, I'm not saying that it's, there's a problem in registering it in a cyber. Some of these people do not know mm. what not to include okay. in the pin certificate. Okay. So they might tick VAT. So you might find that you have, you know, uh, penalties running in the millions. Mm. So it is important for you to check okay. on your KRA website whether there are any, or rather the air tax website, whether there are any, Very uh, important. you know, any penalties that have accrued from your quote-unquote mm -hmm. business. And I think I just want to pass that over to the viewer this morning. You need to, this very minute, check. 
All right, if you can go to the offices, please do, if you can check from the website. Very, very important. I think I've also been touched on that, and it is your responsibility just as it is mine. Thank you so much, Wakili, yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, there, ha there have been women, you know, who are happy and positive, and there are women who have felt that there's a way the business is not, you know, the, the, the business is, uh, is not very, the environment is not very favorable for women. I don't know if we have grown out of that. I don't know your experience. You get more support now. Uh, is there a way that the environment is supporting women more now? Environment in terms of like banks and, and our law? Or? Yeah, just the business environment for you in terms of the laws and, and the support really also. Yeah, I think because imagine I started with five shillings. <laughs> and um, you know, like getting LPOs, <laughs> same amount. Getting LPOs, like good, good LPOs and delivering more, I think, yes. But as a woman, also, you need to play your part. All right. Women, your mothers, women, your wives, and we're also in business. So when it figures to business, and uh, a while back, Akode said, as a woman, and especially, she, she was cushioning <coughs> women. Eh? <laughs> I didn't want to she was cushioning us, telling us, when you're going for jobos and asking, to be given tenders, don't go say, Aki, my journey don't give excuses. As a woman, do your hundred percent. If it's if you're in Jobo, deliver. Cause me, for me, that's how I get my referrals. That's, mm. that's how I get my my orders. Cause even one day, <coughs> a certain procurement just asked me, like, why is it only Azuri's name is being mentioned over and over? So and I told them, I think it's cause me I deliver. And I deliver the snap of the finger. If guys are like 10 minutes to the event, Azuri is there to make it happen. I do branding on time, I do gifts on time, I do set up on time. So as a woman, you need yes. to play 100% and the environment will back you up. Amazing. Do you 100%, the environment will back you up. Like 200%. So we should not have more cases of, oh, just because I'm a woman, no. This and that. No. no, not anymore. Like for me, you should know what I do. <laughs> there are no pity parties. Mm -hmm. There are pity parties. I mean, we just need to be realistic. Okay. This world and how the economy is, there are no pity parties. All right. Yes. And when you say that, I want to give word to a woman who's already in business. Yes. We've already given them, we know what to look at, how to research. What is your word? Because you started, you know, in, as an accountant, yes. shifted in, there's a partnership, it's growing, and you yes. are male-dominated, yes. um, you know, business. Word to the woman who's already started a uh, venture, and maybe they're a bit staggering. Uh, you need to do your uh, background check, number one. Especially in my case, I was transitioning. All right. My papers are in finance. They are not in construction. They are not interiors. But I did my background search. Mm. I went back to school. And it doesn't have to be physical college. It could be online, oh. depending on where Absolutely. your pocket can reach. OK. Yes. So I've done a lot of online certifications. And uh, every day. I, I usually tell my team, every day is a school. You know, in Kiswahili we say, kila siku ni shule, uko shule. So each day you're learning a new thing. Mm. And with that, <coughs> somehow the environment will just back you up. All right. Definitely. 200. Yeah, yeah 200. 200. <laughs> Even 300. Confidence <laughs> trickles in yeah, as true. well. Confidence is your number one goal. You need to, to believe in yourself. Okay. Yeah. Things might not be going as you intended, but you need to believe in what you're doing. And once you get good. yeah. <laughs> divine intervention. That's yeah, your number sure. one thing. We wouldn't be here if it's not mm. towards yeah. grace. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then once you get that job, don't have the mentality of making the money. Yes, we want the job to make the money, but delivering. Again. Significant service. There are no two ways about it. No two ways. And I guess that's how we've been getting our jobs, our okay. referrals, yes. We are not even so widely uh, recognized. recognized in the social media, but we still get projects. All right, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So you'd um, say to the one who wants to start, what did you say to someone the, the, who wants the, to start? The one in business before <coughs> the one who wants to start. Yes. Uh, just to add on on yes. what she's saying. So, <laughs> wait. I think the one who's already in business, yeah. I would say this 
Make sure you get your agpo. How do you get your agpo? That accountant. Because I to make sure your papers in. You know, yeah, just again. Just have, have, have the, make sure that, like, everything is in line. Mm -hmm. Then also the one who wants to start business, I didn't start big. Yeah. And I always don't believe in big. I started small. So you don't need a, tea, a lot of money. And but have passion, go with your passion. Like for gifts, it's a rough industry to be in. Imagine out of a whole year, you get to do work in December. Mm, but now it's your peak. <laughs> now it's your peak. Yeah, now it's my peak. So yeah. to survive, to survive for all those 11 months, it yes. needs passion. And uh, those who are starting, yes, get to have a bank that will back you up also 100% all right, all right. as well. Then, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it for me. And I think that we've really touched on both of these parties. One who wants to start, they're seeing the legal you know, side of it as well. And just to come back to you, sir, um, usually Kenyans fear the law so much. But right now, as we're talking, there's somebody who's really going through certain wrangles probably with Carrie yeah. and their business. And this far they have come. They really don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. What are the scenarios you can pinpoint to us? And, and how can someone you just, what are the documents someone that really does need kukumana mm -hmm. with their business uh, at, at whatever level you choose to give as an example with? Okay. How does the advocate come in? Are there pro bono services mm -hmm. for such emergency uh, you know, moments for, for, for people in business? All right. Um, I'll start with the last question. Yes. There are pro bono services. I also do pro bono services. However, uh, you know, if you are in business, you know, um, if you do not know the law, that will never be a defense. Okay. Ignorance is ignorance. not defense. Ignorance is never a defense. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, for KRE, of course, we need to pay taxes. Why do we need to pay taxes? We need to have these roads done. We need to get services. Okay. We need to pay our taxes. As you know, uh, I know KRA has come out really strongly in terms of ensuring that even their collections, in fact, they met their target, which was very, yeah, and during the COVID period, which is amazing from their end, but I'm, I'm sure some of the Kenyans, as you're saying, may be complaining about it. But the reason why we need to pay taxes is to ensure that, you know, we can get better government services. I see also speed <coughs> to the government because we need to get the services, we need to see the services being offered so that yes. these individuals do not run away from the payment of taxes, for example, in terms of uh, KRA. In terms of uh, what what uh, uh, they <coughs> need mm. when, when things you know go south, number one, as you said, please make sure that you know your uh, PIN status, All right. whether you're oh, an yes. individual, whether you're a company, so that you know uh, these penalties do not accrue. The third thing is that, uh, I'll talk about KRA because I know it's a thorn issue. Yes. They, they also have payment plans. Okay. For example, if you've not been paying tax for one reason or the other, you don't have to pay lump sum. You can get into uh, you know, the, uh, your local uh, KRA station because everybody and every company has a station. Talk to them. You know, be open about it. In fact, there's a moratorium, I think, that was issued today. All right. There's, a, there's one that has been issued by KRA today where you can declare you know, uh, penalties and taxes uh, from 2015 to date, and they will actually give you some form of reprieve. I've seen it today in the, in the website as, as I was preparing for this interview. So some of these things we need to understand so that we don't necessarily run away from paying them or try to uh, you know, uh, do away with them. Mm. But we can, if we are able to do business in a legit manner, get the licenses that are required. Okay. Understand <coughs> what business and what area that you're into. Get help in terms of uh, where now this is where the advocate comes in. Before you open a business, whether it's a sole proprietorship, whether it's a partnership, whether it's a company, I'll still repeat get professional assistance. You know, it might be pro bono or you might actually be charged for it, yeah, especially for businesses sometimes. And if you have been in business, you will be charged because this is a service mm. that is being offered. But get that professional help so that, number one, you are able to avoid uh, instances where you will find yourself in the wrong side of the law. Because, for example, if you've, you've talked about national, uh, national government, which is basically KRA and all these other uh, uh, taxes that you need to pay. Yes county government, you also need to know. So basically get information, get professional help before you make that decision. And if you are uh, in, in either of those that we've mentioned and, and any other, please, 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 please get professional 
assistance? It's good to actually get professional assistance from what I'm, hi I'm hearing. I got <coughs> mm -hmm. That lack of getting like professional, because before, before I did my my taxes, I didn't know, like how you say, yes. when you don't have like the right information, trust to me. <laughs> you, you're at risk. Oh, I was at risk. So but ignorance? Then, not, not ignorance, per se. When it comes to finance, of course, finance is not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> but then it's out of that lack of knowing that, you know, some to loopholes of getting can't come in. Mm -hmm. really. So no shortcuts. All right. Mm -hmm. Just go to the right person, agree a rate. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is like stoned to one specific rate. Just agree a rate, and then you're good to go. All right. So and I wanted to add on something. Yes. For the woman who really wants to start a business, and even those in business, yes. be ready to learn and be ready to take notes for those ahead of you and those even like the accomplished women ahead. Yes. Be teachable. All right. Don't uh, and be correctable, because there are some there are some you correct then they get offense. Because even me, like when I started as a car designer, <coughs> I, I was really corrected. Yeah. People, and they taught me to have that eye of detail. So if you're starting a business, be ready to learn, be open to the ideas around. Reach you. out to Azuri and Pat Lawrence. Actually, yes. I'm offering training yeah. as well. So okay. Um, having done gifts for 13 years and now it's quite trending, we are offering training uh -huh. to those who want to learn the trade because now I'm kind of stepping out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so as a step out, I want to start to leave at, at least like a line behind. So we nice. are training as well. Uh -huh. And we're focusing more on women. Yes. Oh, amazing. I actually wanted you to tell us more on where we can get you, how can they can register for the training because we are wrapping up the show. Oh. Okay. Yes. Um, Briefly. <laughs> for Azuri, just send us, <coughs> us on IG, Azuri Designs or Rugby254. You can get my contacts there. Yes. Or just Google me. Yeah. Oh, she actually pulled that Google me. Uh, All right. Me. So, Pat Lawrence, how do we get you? Because I'm sure the people want to contract you now and yes. just want to hear these festivities. You never know, people have plans oh, before yeah, they yeah. spend all the money in, on yes. Christmas. Just a minute before I wrap up, yes. I would like to encourage the startups who, you know, people have dreams and they're just they are lying down on their dreams. Yes. Just start. Don't sit on that dream. Just start. And, uh, Midway, you'll just find your way. You'll just find your way. Again, you need to, it's important to have a mentor. Right. I have a mentor who has seen me through the journey. So again, have a mentor, be teachable. Tenacity, have it as you hold it close to you. There are days you'll do the best, but you still get the bashing. Resilience. Resilience. Yes. Okay. Uh, to wrap up, you can find us on pa uh, Pat Lawrence, but lawrenceinteriors.ke, that's Instagram. We are basically on Instagram. Yeah. We do interiors. We are decorating Christmas trees right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Looking at our studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're, you know, Azuri, 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 they cannot see that far. <laughs> but of course, we, we are so glad. We are so glad to have you both on set. We need give time for you. For the viewers? For the for the yeah, staff and the viewers and, and I'm you know sure. Before I hike my friend, and, <laughs> you guys you need to start. You know, every time you reach Azuri, say it was that during those festivities moments yes. that we that we reach out to you. So give us a discount because we saw you on hashtag the Morning Drift on Look Up TV, and we'll follow up with Azuri if you did get your discounts. Um, Mr. Advocate, you want to give your last words? Maybe wish them a Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. We had the here advocates wish us, you know, <laughs> happy festivities. <laughs> Well, I'm going to case. No, so, so yeah, so let's, it's a happy, it's a happy month. Let's yeah. just hear your final remarks yeah, as we close. <laughs> Pro bono. Uh, I, Azuri has been very difficult on this table today. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's already Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yes, sir. To, to wrap up, maybe I would just mention one thing. Yes. Uh, women representatives, you know, go to those offices as women. All right. You know, knock on those doors. Ask them specifically what they're doing. Yeah, you know, to bring in laws that would benefit women in terms of business because that is a position that was created specifically to ensure there is gender equality. All right. And gender equality is one of the things that would actually propel women to, you know, to sit on the same, same table, mm. quote unquote, as men and, you know, at the end of the day, benefit 
in the same manner that <coughs> would have benefited. Mm. So in terms of going to those offices, banging on their doors, demanding you know, for services and what they actually do. Because if uh, they have been given the opportunity to uh, represent women, they should have something to show for it. Mm -hmm. If they're not, well, you know, one, kuna elections that are coming up. Okay. But that's, up, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. All right, but wrap up, up, yeah. We are approachable as advocates. We are nice people. We are, <laughs> we are not sharks. Are not sharks so. Well, all the advocates watching. <laughs> um, I, I work with one UK through advocates. It's also a sole proprietorship. She's a, a defender yeah. and, 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 and a marketer. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for the representation this morning. Yeah. Ladies, we celebrate you and how you're thriving in business. Thank and just you. showing the younger girls and younger generation that it is possible, things are changing in the scene. Oh, absolutely. And as we wish you a Merry Christmas, yeah. we hope that your businesses will bloom because this is the time most businesses are picking up. Yeah. Keep talking to us at Look Up TV. Even when you're watching this on YouTube, let us know what your comments are, if you can relate with any of these things we've said. If you want to make orders, just ask us if we can give you either of their handles. If you need help, you know, legal help, let us know in the comment section. And hashtag the morning drift will always take care of you in the ways that are proper and accurate. I take a very short break. We come back with another amazing segment, Drip and Flex.